Now Jesus got baptized. He modeled for us what it looks like to surrender our life. Jesus got baptized. He, he, he did communion. Do this in rem remembrance of me. Watch what he does here in verse 30. Watch how he points to the fact that he's going to go to the cross. Watch this in closing. Verse 30. I don't have much more time to talk to you because the ruler of the world approaches. He has no power over me. But I will do what the Father requires of me so that the world will know that I love the Father. <laughs> I'm going to obey the Father. I'm going to do what he's requiring of me. And he says, Come. Let's get going. The greatest act of obedience the world has ever seen is Jesus knowing what was about to cost him his life, knowing the weight of the sin of the world to be put on him, still said yes. Love the Father enough to complete the mission. And in his humanity, it says in chapter 13 that he was deeply troubled. There was a moment he was, he sweat drops of blood. This what in the physical, it was not an easy thing to do. And, and I, I'm here to say this morning that if Jesus can be obedient to the Father and go to the cross, we can forgive someone. We can choose to not hate a politician for how they persecute us or whatever is happening. We can choose to honor our mother and our father when it's not easy to do that, when they're not being honorable. See, if he can go to the cross and hang on a cross for your sin and for my sin, and he can take the beating and he can take the punishment, we can obey, can't we? Yeah. 